Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G. I'm outside today playing with the IC705 from ICOM, the Buddy Pole from, well, from Buddy Pole, and uh, FT8. And I got some noise, I wanna show you this noise. Let's go take a look. Right here you can see a nice clear portion of the 20 meter band. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I actually had to drive a distance from the house to get out this far. Let me get to a completely empty spot on the band. Let's see what we have for a noise floor. So check out that noise floor. I got nothing. I mean there's a there's a CW signal down there a bit. I'm gonna go back up to 14074 because we're gonna play a little bit with FT8 today because we can to kind of show what's going on here. What I have is just a plain Jane USB cable. I'm gonna take the, the, the business end, the micro USB, and I'm gonna plug it into the side of the radio here, upside down, because there's only two ways to plug a USB cable in, the wrong way, which is the first way you do it, and the right way, which is what you do after you do it the wrong way. All right, so keep an eye on that noise floor, because I'm gonna take the, the other end, and I'm gonna plug it into my laptop. Look at that. I just plugged it into the laptop and immediately noises through the roof. We're, we're just an S5 right there. Okay, now let's do something a little more fun with it. Let's get over to the laptop and let's do oh some, some glare work. Alright, so I have my radio connected on 14074. I've got rig control working. We're halfway through a transmission cycle here. Let's see if we get some decodes. Okay, so we've got decodes. This is working. So now, even with this horrible amount of noise, we're still getting decodes. I'm going to hit the tune button on the radio, on the radio, on the uh, WSJTX software, which is just going to put a signal out. So you can see we went into transmit mode. You can hear the noise coming out, and I touched the VFO. You can hear the noise coming out. The computer's going crazy. And I think it finally just lost everything. So we have, we got a rig control error. I'm going to hit retry. And we're still red. And we're still stuck in transmit mode. So I'm going to hit retry again. I'm going to hit halt TX. We're not halting TX. There's nothing that we can do here. Except for turn this thing off. So we're turned off. So obviously there's some kind of noise that we're getting from just your generic everyday USB cable. So what I did to solve this is I went out and I got a different USB cable and I put these little ferrite beads on. I have a video on my uh, IC706 using these ferrite beads, this type of ferrite bead to remove noise from the power supply on a Raspberry Pi. And they worked great. I had to use quite a bit of them. So let's get that end plugged back in there. Let's get this end here opened up and plugged into the computer. Let's turn the radio back on. All right, radio's back on. Retry that. Change that over to, oh, retry. Change it over to 14074. Retry. And we still have this huge noise floor even with those beads. So I'm gonna unplug the USB cable, poof. Noise gone. Plug it back in. Noise back. Okay, so if a few small ferrite beads aren't good enough, there's four of them there. And these are unknown mix, unknown variety, unknown everything. You can just get these on Amazon all day long as snap-on ferrite beads. Who knows what's going on there? So if four of those aren't enough, how about we get the big boy out? This is one of those 10 foot long gas station USB cables and that's a 240-43 mix toroid. So I'm gonna plug that in. All right, that end's plugged in. Get the business end over here. Get it ready. Look at that noise floor. Nothing. Solid. All right, come over here to WSJTX. Retry, put this back on band. 
retry. And sometimes that happens with WSJTX. Let's power cycle this one more time to clean it up. All right, radio is power cycled. Let's get some signals over here. Yep. Let's come over here and hit retry again. And we are on 14074, decoding signals into the display there. And now I'm gonna hit the tune button on WSJTX and see what happens. All right, we're in transmit mode. And I take tune off and we're out of transmit mode. And that's all that it takes. So I have the 24043 here with, I don't know, about a thousand wraps on it. I put as many on as I could, more is better in this case. And then on the antenna, the buddy pole, there are ferrite beads on the far end of the coax, which should choke the signal out on that end. There you have it, folks. Choke everything you can when it comes to RFI and your ham shack. In this case, the ham shack's the back of my Jeep, and I'm out here in the field in my backyard. So we got a nice quiet noise floor now on the radio. I'm gonna play some FT8. I'll put up a map of what FT8 looks like here in a bit. Otherwise, there's a video right over my head I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.